So I just upgraded from the Pixel 4a to a Pixel 7 Pro and there was a problem. So the subscribers of my channel would know that I have a Mobboy TickWatch Pro 3 GPS which I've made a video about in the past. I'm not a big fan of it. When it comes to switching Android phones, you really don't have an option to just connect your new phone to the old watch. You have to factory reset it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get around it. So let's get started. All right, guys, to just to recap right now, this watch is paired with my old Pixel 4a and I want to pair it with the new one without resetting the watch. So to get started, you would need to go to your watch, go to settings, and enable debugging so you go to system go to about and hit the build number a few times you're now a developer now you can go to developer options click on adb debugging click on debug over wi-fi and it'll give you an ip address there we go my ip address is 192.168.2.25 Port number is 5555 five, five, five. so I have to take a note of that so I'm gonna leave it right here now on my computer I would have to install you need to download ADB installer from the link down below 1.4.3 download open the file click run the how to install document if you want to refer to that yes Yes, system wide. Okay, now all you have to do is right click your start button and click on terminal, admin, type in ADB devices. It should start the daemon. Now you can type in ADB connect. And remember that IP address from before, so 192.168.2.25. Connected, you can see there's a prompt on the watch. Click on always allow this computer. The first command is going to be here. You can copy and paste it just like I did. So it's adb shell quotes pm clear android and reboot. You can just do that. Watch what happens on the watch. Success. And it's rebooting the watch as you can see right here. Now, while the watch reboots, we're still connected to Wi-Fi, so we should be able to reconnect to watch. On your command prompt, it might show you that it's stuck on a command. You can press Ctrl C to exit out of that on your keyboard. Once you do that, you can type in the following command, adb shell quotes am start android bluetooth adapter action request discoverable. All you have to do now is just press enter, device not found. Why? Because I was stupid and I didn't connect to the device. So let's just enter 2.25, we're connected. Let's try that command again. And that's it, it's done. Okay, now on your new phone, you would unlock your phone. Unlock my Pixel 7 Pro. Go to the Wear OS app, agree. And it should pick up the TickWatch Pro 3. Okay, so I think I may have created a problem here. Bluetooth on my Pixel 4a is still on. I'm going to turn it off. Let's try that command again. And refresh on the Pixel 7. There we go. TickWatch Pro 3 on the Pixel 7 Pro. Press connect. Click on pair. There we go. Connected. I'm going to let the Pixel 7 Pro finish the setup. Oh, so you just forced up the app and the watch just appears. It is syncing all the watch faces, so it's running a bit slow, but you can see on the watch it says we're disconnected, but we're clearly connected here via Bluetooth. Let's see if I send a message on here from the, my old phone. See if we get a notification. And there goes the message. Nice! Woo! I'm happy I didn't have to reset the whole thing, although it literally took 45 minutes to figure out everything. Hopefully you guys don't know how to go through all of that and you can just watch this video and get it done in like 10 minutes. Thank you Google for not allowing us to do this. Oh by the way, and just for any skeptics in the audience, 
just wanted to show that I didn't cut my video out to scam you guys. You can see my old pixel still trying to connect to my TicketWatch Pro 3 GPS. I'm going to have to delete Wear OS from my old phone for this to work reliably, so I highly recommend you do that. That's it. And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. I will leave all the relevant links just below that like button and you can let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. Don't forget to check out my other content right up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!